households, both alike in dignity, in fair Verona where we lay our scene. From ancient grudge break to new mutiny, where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. From forth the fatal loins of these two foes, a pair of star-crossed lovers take their life, whose misadventure piteous overthrows. Do with their death, bury their parents' strife, the fearful passage of their death-marked love, and the contempt of their parents' rage, which but their children's end not could remove, is now the two hours' traffic of our stage, the which, if you with patient ears attend, what here shall miss, our toil shall strive to mend. What? <laughs> <laughs> Two households, but yeah, I heard what it means. What does it mean? What do you mean? What does it mean? It's English. That's not English. That's a kind of funky Shakespeare language. No, that's English. The same language we're speaking right now. Were you listening to what I was listening to? Seriously? <laughs> Can you prove it was English? Yes. Do you know what the word two means? Like the number? Yes. Yes. Okay. What about household? Yes. What about both? Yes. What about the word alike? Yes. What about dignity? Do you know what dignity is? <laughs> of course. What does it mean? I don't know. It means being worthy of honor and respect. Of course. So you know what the line two households, both in like indignity means, right? No idea. <laughs> Pro love, can you come back out here? Why is she trying to go hot It doesn't really cost me enough for
breaking other people's stuff. Well, I've had enough. If any of you break the rules, if any of you disrupt the peace, you'll be sentenced to death. For real? Death. You heard me. Now clear the streets. Anyone saw it here and I get back will be in prison. Ha, 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 ha. 